let's look at the solution of number system bytes. How many three digit natural numbers are there such that the unit digit of each of which is always more than the tens as well as the hundreds digit. Okay, let's see. Uh, we, we can have the unit digit is two. Unit digit is two, in which case the leading digit has to be one and the middle digit can be one or zero. So two is one way, you get two such numbers. If the unit digit is three, the leading digit has to be one or two or two ways and the middle digit can be one, two or zero. So three ways, so you get six numbers. If the unit digit is four, the leading digit can be zero, one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three. So three ways and middle digit can be anything from zero to three. So four ways we get 12 numbers. Hopefully by now you have seen what sort of uh, series is emerging one into two, two into three, three into four, and we will keep on going and uh, we'll keep on going. We'll get four into five with five at the uh, units place with six at the units place. We'll get five into six with seven at the units place. We would get six into seven with eight at the units place. We will get uh, seven into eight and with nine at the units place, you'll get eight into nine. Let's get all the cases in row. 20 numbers, 30 numbers. Okay. Right now I'm also seeing each of these numbers are nothing but uh, sum of first and natural number into two. This is 42 numbers. This is 56 numbers and this is 72 numbers. We simply need to do summation of these values. Let's see 72 and 2 gives me 74. 56 and 6 gives me 62. 42 and 12 gives me 54. 30 and 20 gives me 50. Okay, so I remove these. I get a 10 separately. 10 and 70 gets me 80. 80 and 60 gets me 140. 140 and 50 and 50 gets me 240. How many three digit natural numbers are there? Such like unit zero to each uh, of each of which is always more than the tens as well as hundreds digit. Answer should be 240. Next question, how many natural numbers below 500 are divisible by at least one of two, three, four, five, uh, two, three, four, six, eight, or 10. The brilliant thing here is, can you see two is a factor of four is a factor of six is a factor of eight is a factor of 10. So as soon as you have removed the multiples of two, as soon as you have removed multiples of two, you have removed multiples of these numbers altogether. This question was only about two and three. The remaining numbers were nothing but distraction. Okay, so if we are looking at multiples of two under 500, see the question is below 500, we are going to get 249 multiples of two. How many multiples of three will we get? 480 by 160 plus 18, so 166 multiples of three. The problem is multiple of six would also be present here, would also be present here. We are counting multiples of six twice. So we need to remove their count once. So multiple of six, how many times will we get them? 480 would be 80 plus three. Okay, 83. So the answer to the question is going to be 249 plus 166 minus 83. These two, if I cancel, I will get 83 only. So 249 plus 83. So 250 and 82. So 332. There are 332 numbers below 500 that are divisible by 2 or 3 or 4 or 6 or 8 or 10. As soon as you are a multiple of 2, you are all, or you have, as soon as you have included multiples of 2, you have also included multiples of all other possibilities, as in all other possibilities specific to this case. You have multiples of 4 also included, you have multiples of 6 also included, so on and so forth. Okay. Large one. If first four, nine, eight, five natural numbers are put side by side to get a big number like one, two, three, four, something, something, four, nine, eight, four, four, nine, eight, five. Last 
in terms which digit will be exactly in the middle okay let's see how many digits are used up up until this time the number of digits used up will be for single digit numbers there are nine numbers everyone uses one digit there are 92 digit numbers every number uses two digits there are 903 digit numbers so we've got nine here 180 here and 2700 here but from 1000 Two, four, nine, eight, five. How many numbers are there? Three, nine, eight, six numbers are there. Three, nine, eight, six numbers are there, and each of them are using four digits. So three, nine, eight, six into four. Four thousand into four minus fourteen into four. So four thousand into four to fifteen thousand nine hundred and forty-four. We have to add up these four values. Okay. So I get 2889 from here. This is a fairly common occurrence wala number. How many three digit, two digit digits can use it? So I directly know it. Adding it now, four and nine gives me three, one carried over. I get three, one carried over. I get eight, one carried over. I get eight, I get one. Hopefully the summation is correct. <laughs> okay, seems right. Now, if I have these many digits and I'm looking for the digit exactly in the middle, exactly in the middle, first thing I would have to do is just identify. If there are three digits, the digit exactly in the middle is how? If there are five digits, the digit exactly in the middle is identified how hopefully pattern wise you can see it is 3 by 2 plus 0 0.5 here it is 5 by 2 plus 0 0.5 the spot for the middle digit is identified that way so if I have to identify the middle digit here I would have to go this number divided by 2 plus 0 0.5 this number divided by 2 will give me 9 4 1 6.5 plus 0 0.5 or I'm seeking the 9,417th digit. I'm seeking 9,417th digit in the consideration. Okay. Out of these 9,417 digits, can you see these many numbers I can straight, these many digits I can straight away remove. So 9, 4, 1, Seven minus two eight eight nine. Seventeen minus nine is eight. Ten minus eight is two. Thirteen minus eight is five. Eight minus two is six. Okay. Among the numbers that are four digit long, I'm looking for the six thousand five hundred and twenty eight the digit, which would mean. Because every number will now use four digits. I can divide this by four. I'll get one, six, three, two. I'm looking for one, six, three, two-eth numbers. Numbers, last digit. So among the four digit numbers, I need to identify which is the one, six, three, second number 1632nd number so 1000 is the first number 1001 is the second number hopefully you can see whatever number you try to identify the difference between these two is always 999 so if i'm looking for 1632nd number it is going to be 1632 plus 999 or 2631. The last digit of this one is the answer to this question. Amazingly well thought out and reasoned question. Of course, something not that you would expect in an exam, but amazingly well thought out and reasoned question. Okay. If D is the absolute difference between a three digit number, three digit natural number, and the sum of the digits of the number. Okay. 
So a three digit natural number will be referenced this way. And whenever you remove the sum of the digits of a number, whenever you remove some of the digits of a number, the number will become a multiple of nine. The number will become a multiple of nine. Anyway, so minus a minus b minus c. C is entirely gone. I'm left with ninety-nine a plus nine b. Okay, so nine times of eleven a plus b. Cool. If d is a multiple of twelve and greater than five zero four, okay. See, this was d, this is d, and this is d. If d is supposed to be a multiple of twelve, hopefully you can identify d is a multiple of thirty six now. You have to be a multiple of twelve. You have to be a multiple of nine. So you are a multiple of thirty six. Or in other words, eleven a plus b, eleven a plus b, has to be a multiple of four. Has to be a multiple of four, okay. Now D has to be a multiple of six and thirty-six uh, and greater than five zero four. Let me see five zero four. Is itself divisible by thirty-six? It, it is itself divisible by thirty-six. Or why do I even care for this? Hut hut hut. I don't care for this. Let's see. Can I go five zero four divided by nine gives me fifty-six. Okay, so if five zero four was allowed, if five zero four was allowed, I would have gotten nine into fifty six. D would have been there, nine into fifty six. So if I'm looking at subsequent values of D, if I'm looking at the list of subsequent values of D, I know this eleven a plus b has to be a multiple of four. So let me just check. Can I make sixty out of? Eleven a plus b. Even if I can find one case, my life is chill. So for sixty, I would need five and five. Yes, it works. For sixty-four, uh, I will get five and nine. Yes, it works. For sixty-eight, I will get six and two. Yes, this works. For seventy-two, I will get six and six. This also works. For seventy six, oh, I cannot make seventy six. I cannot have seventy six. See here, the value of D would be five forty. Here, the value of D would be five seventy six. But I'm not really concerned with what precise value D ends up taking. I'm more concerned with how many cases I can make. Okay, so for eighty, it would be seven and three. For eighty-four, it would be seven and seven. For eighty-eight, it would be eight and zero. For ninety-two, oh, this list making is becoming problematic because up until when do I have to see the list? Oh, I have to see the list up this far. Look at this. This is an expression that has to be a multiple of it. Can you see the largest possible value that a and b can take because they are single digit numbers? The largest value that a and b can take is nine. In which case, we can go up to a maximum of one zero eight. So I only have to check up until one zero eight. Ninety two could I make eight and four? Ninety six could I make eight and eight? Hundred could I make nine and one? Hundred and four could I make nine and five and hundred and eight could I make nine and nine? Yes. So all cases are possible. See, this is the limit after which everything starts becoming possible. Each of these cases are possible. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Another well thought out question. There are going to be twelve values that they can assume. Next, how many five-digit numbers are there such that the digits at the hundreds place, units place, and ten thousands place are the first three digits of a geometric progression in any order? Okay. Ten thousands place. And hundreds place and units place. These three spots need to have a GP in any order. So GPs I can make with single digits. 
the simplest one that I can make is one one one, two two two, three three three, so on and so forth up until nine nine nine. In this case, there are nine such cases. Nine such cases into the order in which you can rearrange them in these three spots is just one because all the three numbers are identical. And in the remaining two spots, you can fill it up in ten into ten ways, or you get. Nine hundred such numbers. Now the other GPs, not one, only GPs. You will in single digits. Hopefully by now you have practiced enough that you would be able to identify these series straight away. These three are fairly simple to identify. This is the one that people miss out on. Four, six, and nine. Four, six, and nine. This is also a GP. the co the common ratio is not integral yet the individual digits themselves are involved so in this case if i were making cases there are four such cases because all the numbers are distinct they can rearrange themselves in three factorial ways and then the remaining two blanks can be filled in a hundred ways as was always the case so we get 2400 numbers from here so i've got 900 here 2400 here all together How many total numbers? The answer will be thirty-three hundred numbers. That will be all for this episode. Hopefully, you learned something. Okay, bye.